What's up guys, we're playing Rise of Cultures. We just got started and I just opened up the game. We got Felix here, hi there. Chief, I'm Felix, the head of the workers. This is an ideal place to create our settlement. I haven't uh, looked too much at this game. I really wanted to surprise me. I did see some comments um, kind of explaining uh, what it was about and what they liked about it. Seemed like something that would be pretty cool, so let's check it out. Your workers are essential to develop a powerful civilization. We uh, wreck new buildings and upgrade them. So he's like a builder. We help gather, produce, farm different resources. So we need uh, to farm. Um, kind of uh, like we're building a... I almost feel like I'm a caveman, and I'm building up uh, from scratch. Different materials, collecting, harvesting, to be honest. Chief, you couldn't build a new civilization without workers. Now let's build a rural farm. Uh, this will provide us with reliable food sources. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so built a farm. Farming area where we can uh, make get food. Anything we build needs your blessing, Chief. Tap on the farm to complete the construction. Excellent, Chief. Now you're signed with a sign of one of the, my workers to harvest some food. Okay, perfect. Let's get a worker. All right. Yeah, yeah. Now your worker is busy harvesting. Perfect. Okay, so, um, we, uh, started out with that little square next to it, um, two, I see, uh, two people in a cave there, looks like two, uh, girls, and then Felix, and then I, I'm not sure if he's the worker, oh no, the worker is the guy at the top, but I don't really see him, so, alright, we gathered, uh, the food, workers are happiest when they're busy. Let's see how we can use the food to improve things around here. Food is vital for our civilization's growth. Let's see how to build somewhere to live. How and build something where to live. Okay, let's create a home. Research is also key for element of thriving civilization. Let's take a look. Okay. Alright, so the Stone Age. Oh, tribal settlement allows us to start building homes. Okay, so let's put on the tribal settlement. Kind of is guiding me in what direction I need to go. New building unlocked. <clears throat> so this is kind of like a campsite for us to actually live at, it looks like. A building, a home. It's a small home. New upgrade available rather than being in a cave, right? Pretty smart. So now I'm assuming that it almost looks like the uh, like a Hobbit house from the Lord of the Rings. Um, this is like uh, reminds me of the like taking place in in 10,000 BC. We have mammoth there up on the uh, rock. Um, like the movie 10,000 BC, combined with the uh, Lord of the Rings houses, where we're building a civilization, kind of like uh, I don't know. Lord of the Rings, other than, um, I don't think you, like, actually attack people in this game or anything like that, so, at least we'll find out. The Dawn of the Stone Age. Look, Chief, I was in the right. The New Age allows us to build better homes and increase our number of workers. Okay. So we get to, um, build a house. Kind of pick their, uh, I think the first area, it's kind of selected for me. So, I'm keeping my worker busy. Oh, well, that really didn't keep him that busy, because that was pretty quick. Well, how about that? New homes create new workers, which help us build our civilization. Okay. Workers need homes to live, you guys. Each of the homes is a settlement automatically produces coins you can collect. Alrighty, okay, so, uh, the homes collect money. It's like, 
feel like I'm the uh, landlord or the uh, the government and uh, I'm controlling all these people, <laughs> telling them uh, to give me money after I uh, they work for their own stuff. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> what do I got? So we're going to. Okay, so just to uh, take a look here. We're going to a travel settlement to civilization to something uh, like a. Uh, I don't, know, I don't. I can't see the next one, but we'll find out, I guess. Not now, chief. Tap the rural farm. Okay. Upgrade. We can upgrade it. Okay. Did that make it bigger? I'm not exactly sure what the upgrade does. Maybe it gives you more food. I guess. Um, Willie, really look at that, Chief. Um, if we keep researching and upgrading buildings, there's no stopping us. Seems, uh, okay. You cannot... I don't know what it said. Look at our campground and prospers. <clears throat> Chief, a steady flow of production. We'll increase your construction. Okay. So there is going to be a shop um, where I'm sure you can uh, purchase things. Did it want me to put that there? I think it did. I guess I'll use one gem. I have 165, I think. Let's go back and see what it wants me to keep on doing. Ooh, what the heck? How did I just get 11,000? Oh, maybe it just gave me that because I... Kind of completed the beginning like tutorial side of things so i'm a little bit uh more on my own now we can take a scope of the area here we got a big mountains this direction and some more big mountains on this side i think uh, we're going to be allowed to build um pretty much i know for sure probably all the way out to this square right here we'll see it later on we can get different materials and stuff to the head down to the uh, water and stuff. Um, I mean, I don't know. Let's uh, keep working. So, kind of like um, a non-aggressive, like, I don't know, Clash of Clans style where you're building up your civilization so that you can expand it, keep going, and um, keep building it and growing it. Pretty cool. Um, kind of taking place in, uh, again, like, I don't know, like a 10,000 BC era. Caveman style. Kind of looks like, uh, the Flintstones type of situation going on here. Even it's got, oh, look at this girl, Link. It's got kind of like a, is this a girl or a dude? I hope it's a girl. <laughs> Flintstones outfit on, I don't know. They're over here by the fire. Let's start clicking on this stuff. So that is considered now the city hall, which it was originally the uh, rock. Um, it says that I have a couple things that I can do over here. Um, luxurious home, or uh, let's just keep building uh, homes and just keep getting workers and increase productivity and move along. Okay, boom. Okay, so we have another home for a, another worker. More workers means more production. So, I don't know what, exactly what that's doing. All I know is from what I remember, is that I'm supposed to collect food um, from that area, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let me go back to the uh, build menu. I still only have a small, you know what, I'll tell you what. Let's speed up the process here. Let's just start building as much as we can. Okay. So we gotta wait till level three to uh, build a luxurious home. What level am I now? Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure. We have these little uh, time serums in the bottom left hand corner, which I had used a couple times on things that it was showing me. Collecting some more change. 
collecting some more food and some more change and some more food. <clears throat> um, so I'm assuming that uh, with this game, when you leave it going overnight, that they uh, it keeps running. I, I would think so that you feel like um, you know you build up your civilization and you can keep playing. You don't have to actually consistently be playing. At least that's what I'm guessing. Um, so that because I mean they have like these uh, they have timing on a lot of things, and as you progress, things are going to take a lot longer. So you can. Uh, you know, let things run maybe overnight. Uh, maybe when you're not playing the game. I don't know. Let's find that out too. I completely was ignoring that chat mark. Um, I don't know what that did for me. I did build maybe another house. Oh, it, it made a... Got another worker. But we want to keep the workers busy. So let's... How do I expand this? Oh, remember I could upgrade. So let's... Let's upgrade, right? Mm, can't upgrade that. Let's click on this and see if we can upgrade it. Can I? No, I don't think so. Okay, so we can move on to the spear fighting. That's maybe something I can do. Let's see. It says. Unlocks the infinity brackets, but how do I go to the shop? See, he wants me to have more gems to actually just like click on that. And so I think I have to uh, wait till it's a zero out of two um, potions. Where do I get the potions? Okay, so yeah, so I have a big timer there at the top. As the timer goes down, I get more serum. So then, like, uh, if I got two of those, I can unlock spear fighting, and then we gotta keep going. Two more, two more, two more. Unlock cave paintings, and uh, so this is a game about time and taking your time and expanding your uh, culture. So, oh look, we got <clears throat> some more uh, money from our workers. <clears throat> Let's see here. So we, um, this is unlock expansion, expansion. So what that will do is uh, kind of clear up the area so we can build to a further point because uh, we only have this kind of square that you can see right here that we can build in, but all this area definitely can be used so we can um, unlock that. All right, guys, that's kind of a quick tutorial, tutorial of this game. I'm going to let it run for while overnight and uh, see what um, else comes with it. I'm probably going to give this game um, I think a 3 point oh man 8 but it's very hard because there's so much more to this game that I haven't even taken a look at but I understand what the game's about I haven't run into um, any ads but there's just so much more to uncover so that rating could possibly change later on as I keep playing. It is a game that uh, does take some time. It seems like to really um, keep uh, keep moving forward and move on with the game. It's not something that uh, gives you instant gratification, which is uh, kind of cool because it seems like a lot of games will, most games will will um, try to give you that. So this is a game that takes a little bit more time. You're building a civilization, basically, as like cave people in Flintstone time. I don't know. So let me know what you guys would rate it down in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should probably do so because I make videos like this all the time to help you find out what great games are out there for you to play. This is free to play on the Google Play Store. And if you're on Apple, go check and see if it's out there. It should be. I think it is actually out there. I'm pretty sure this one as well on the um, Apple Play Store. So Give it a try and let me know what you think. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.